Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Apple, I'd like to welcome you to the third annual West Coast NLP Summit. My name is Alex Acero from the Siri team here at Apple. We were looking forward to having this event in the Steve Jobs Theater in Apple Park, but unfortunately, COVID-19 had other plans. I hope we'll be able to host it here for real sometime in the future. The West Coast NLP Summit is an opportunity to foster discussion and collaboration between NLP researchers in academia and industry. This event will include talks and a panel from research leaders on the latest advances in NLP technologies. Technology in NLP continues to evolve at a rapid clip. Transformers are having a big impact in the field. Big data, or should I say really big data, is coming to an NLP system near you. In fact, models like GPT-3 are revolutionizing language generation. Adversarial training, commonly found in computer vision, is taking off in NLP. Multilingual NLP is not only an important application on its own, but also brings with it new technology products. And there are many more frontiers in the field. What are the cognitive and computational building blocks needed for more human-like language in machines? We need capacities for causal reasoning, symbolic rule formation, rapid abstraction, and common sense representations of events in terms of objects, agents, and their interactions. Today, you'll also be learning about the application of NLP to several fields. Machine translation continues to be a fertile ground for research. It used to run only on big data centers, and now it can run completely in your smartphone. We need continuous advances in conversational AI in order for voice assistants to meet users' expectations. While open domain question answering has advanced dramatically in the last decade, there is still a lot of work ahead. Machine reading is gaining adoption in medicine, education, and to better understand social media. A lot of work in language understanding over the years has been on text understanding, but language is multimodal. Prosody, not what you say, but how you say it, is important to convey the message. Emojis were invented to narrow, not eliminate, the gap between verbal and written communication. Visual information is important in face-to-face -face communication. Eye contact to establish the channel, nodding for back channel feedback, or attempts to take a turn. Today, we'll have a session on multimodal NLP. Today, you'll also be hearing about important societal problems that we NLP algorithm developers cannot ignore. The first one is fairness and inclusiveness. Translations from English to many languages often reinforce gender stereotypes, simply because they are present in the data the system was trained on. Demographics that are underrepresented in our training data can also lead to biases. The second one is ethics. Deep fakes sparked controversy a few years ago as we could create videos of people saying things that he never said. The ethical question is coming now to chatbots with programs like GPT-3. And lastly, we have privacy. NLP algorithms could do better for a specific user if they had access to that user's data. The more, the better. But we must do this respecting user's privacy, giving users full transparency of what's going on and getting their consent. We should not wait until regulations come up with things like GDPR. I hope you enjoyed today and I hope to see you here in Apple Park at a future West Coast NLP. Thank you.